Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now, today's video we're going to talk all about budget gaming. Can you actually play games on a budget phone without that much kind of gimmicks? Well, that was actually the question that one of my friends asked me recently. He has a, you know, a younger brother who he wants to buy a phone for him. And this younger brother of his loves to play games on his phone. So he asked me what would actually be a suitable candidate. Well, in this case, I happen to have the Infinix Note 12 G96 over here. So this is actually what I recommended to him. Now, the Infinix Note 12 G96 is actually going for under 800 ringgit here in Malaysia. I think there might be some kind of sales coming up on August 25, payday sale or something like that. But anyways, let's focus on this phone and find out whether this budget phone can actually game properly, not just play games like and get overheating and all that, proper gaming on a budget device. All right, so before we talk about the gaming aspect and all that, of course, we got to go through a couple of numbers for this particular device. Now, at the front here, we do have a very nice 6.7 inch AMOLED display. Now, it refreshes at 60 hertz, there is no high refresh rate, but the AMOLED display here actually gets very bright and it has great contrast levels and awesome kind of colors. So we can forgive that because it's actually a very budget price point. Now, the second thing that you need to know here is all about that processor and all that. Like the name suggests, we do have a Helio G96 in here. We also have eight gigabytes of RAM that you can expand all the way up to 13 GB. So RAM wise, you will not have any issues about that in here. Apart from that, what else is actually being put in here is uh, a couple of cooling systems. So Infinix says that they are putting like a, a few layers of graphene kind of you know cooling system to make sure that the temperatures are kept cool and all that. So we can expect some really nice, stable kind of frame rates. According to Infinix, they have actually carried out a couple of tests as well. I think there's a jank test that basically shows that if your score is lower, it will be more stable and smoother kind of experience for your gaming. So apart from that, Infinix is also saying that, you know, they are actually consuming less battery on the Infinix Note 12 G96. And also in terms of gaming, you will see reduced temperatures. So we're going to test all that out right now. So I've been playing a couple of games the past few days. I'm going to start off with Mobile Legends uh, right off the bat. That's the game that I actually played the most. And I've been playing a couple of hours at one go on the Infinix uh, Note 12 G96. Throughout the entire two hours, I had no issues whatsoever with you know, the lag, no issues whatever with uh, delays and all that. The graphics itself uh, supports high graphics, so you can actually get some pretty decent graphics over here. And throughout that entire period, it was just a very smooth gameplay with Mobile Legends. Now, if you are playing games like Genshin Impact, Genshin Impact wise, you know, this is a very graphic intensive game. And of course, you, I would suggest that you actually use the medium kind of graphic settings. Then you can get a very smooth gameplay on a budget phone like this. So again, I was playing for about an hour of Genshin Impact and I noticed that the temperatures did not actually go very high compared to other devices. If you play Genshin Impact on most other smartphones, it will definitely raise the temperature by a lot. But for the case of the Infinix Note 12 G96, I noticed that it was warm, but not to the extent where it was you know, so hot and not bearable. So still very, very decent kind of performance coming from the Infinix Note 12 G96. Now, last but not least, if you play games like PUBG or if you play games like Asphalt 9, you also want to know that these games, they are not really super graphic intensive and you can still definitely enjoy a very smooth gameplay on the Infinix Note 12 G96. So overall, these three games here, I had no issues. Everything was very smooth sailing on the Infinix Note 12 G96 without any overheating. Now, it's also worth mentioning that the phone itself comes with dual stereo speakers, which are actually very loud. So this actually helps out with the gameplay as well. It also comes with some decent haptics. Now, this is not, I'm not sure what the exact haptic engine is, but it has those very short and crisp kind of uh, haptics and vibrations. So also very good to see that on a budget phone like this. A lot of phones these days, they don't really focus on haptics. Phones double the price even come with you know poor haptics and all that. So quite decent haptics on the Infinix Note 12 G96. Uh, last but not least, we should also mention a little bit about that battery life. Now we do have a 5000 mAh battery in here. It's not really a thick device. It's actually quite thin and quite lightweight as well. So quite interesting that it managed to fit in a 5000 mAh battery. It supports 33 watt fast charge. Overall, again, playing a lot of games here, I did not see any significant drops in battery. Uh, it was actually a able to last the entire day even with me gaming quite a fair bit. So that's actually quite a very strong battery on the Infinix Note 12 G96. Uh, last but not least, it, it might also be worth mentioning that this is running Android 12. So you have the current latest software running on here. 
And yeah, that's pretty much my experience uh, with this budget phone here. Again, quite you know, quite surprised that this phone can actually handle all these kind of you know big title kind of games and very smoothly at this kind of price point. These days, again, you don't really need the most expensive phone to get a decent gaming experience. Even budget phones like the Infinix Note 12 G96 here can offer you a very good gaming experience. You really got to depend on your skills to actually you know start winning games. All right, guys. With that said, uh, let me know if you have any further questions about this device. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Uh, leave a comment down below if you want to know more about this. Again, thank you for watching all the way to the end. Don't forget to drop a like and sub to the channel and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay safe everybody. Bye.